Hello, I am Arifan Hasnath. I am working as a senior lecturer at the Department of Civil Engineering of University of Asia Pacific, Dhaka, Bangladesh. I graduated from this university, then I completed my MSc in Structural Engineering from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. I teach courses like Engineering Materials and Earthquake Resistant Design. Currently, I focus my research on repair and strengthening of RC beams. I also put some interest on strengthening of column using fiber reinforced polymer. Corrosion of steel inside concrete is one of the major reasons of deterioration of RC structure in Bangladesh. We are also conducting research related to corrosion of steel bar inside concrete. Grass clay brick are very common in Bangladesh as coarse aggregate in concrete making. The scarcity of stone aggregate is the main reason for this choice. However, clay brick production is not an environmental friendly option. Lots of problem arises. We lose fertile topsoil of agricultural land and burning of the clay brick leaves enormous amount of carbon in the atmosphere. In addition to this, low-rise buildings of Bangladesh are replaced with high-rise buildings and it leaves huge amount of demolished block. In this context, I got involved in a research named Recycling of Demolished Concrete. And from our research, we published number of journal papers and presented in several conferences and seminars, both globally and locally. As a result, some ready mix industries in Bangladesh are started to use recycled aggregate in construction works and we are happy to be a part of it. I volunteered in a project supported by BRAC and UNDP to build houses and a school for a coastal area which was severely affected by Cyclone Isla in 2009. The area was awfully flooded with saline water. We had to take special measures by maximizing the utilization of local materials in an engineered way. Due to scarcity of fresh water, a special curing technique was adopted. We also trained the local masons and house owners on construction techniques so they can maintain their houses during the service life and build new one without external helps. We successfully completed the project and the landscape of the project is completely changed now. It is beautiful indeed. Before receiving this honor, I received two years research fellowship from Housing and Building Research Institute, Dhaka, Bangladesh. During my MS thesis work, I went to Japan as a special research student in a student exchange program between Saitama University and Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. In 2013, our paper on recycling of demolished concrete received Best Paper Award in Third International Conference on Sustainable Construction Materials and Technologies. I would like to acknowledge the contribution of my supervisors, especially Professor Tarikuddin and Professor Saiful Amin helped me a lot during my career. Without their guidance and help, I could not be here today. I am lucky to have them as my mentor. I am also supervising some undergraduate thesis students and co-supervising with Professor Jamal Reza Chaudhuri in topics related to a structural collapse. In the classroom, I try to share the things I know and always appreciate questions and comments from my students. I learned so many things from them about their understanding, how to improve myself and to do better and connecting with them in a better way. So they are being great help from me in my teaching and research. Our students are running a short term education program for children who are not going in the regular schools. This program is a great motivation for all of us. I call this School of Happiness because they bring us joy and happiness through their colorful activities. As a young professional, I have still a long way to go. We are facing lots of problems, especially related to environment and construction works. We need to improve the safety and quality of construction. If we can work together in this, then it is only possible to make the world a better place for ourselves and for our next generation also.